For China, the past century or so has been a turbulent time, with crushing lows and unparalleled highs, economic hardship, and riches no one ever would have imagined. You're probably wondering why I've come to a sleepy corner of southwest China to tell you this. Well, here in the county of Bama, there's a fair few people who've lived through it all. You see, what was once one of the most impoverished counties in all of China, and a place that, at first glance, doesn't exactly scream health mecca, is home to 10 times the national average of centurions. People here grow old in a way that they don't elsewhere in China, or most of the rest of the world for that matter. There are even one or two people in this village that were alive during China's last dynasty. With the way the world is going, I'm not sure I quite want to live that long. Nevertheless, these age-defying badasses have certainly piqued my interest. Over the next few days, I want to figure out the secrets to a long and healthy life. And from the looks of it, I'm not the only one. And if word of a place as mystical as this has reached me, a foreigner, then of course aunties and uncles from all across China have caught wind of it too. Senior citizens, many suffering from chronic illnesses, flock from all across the country in the hope of, if not stopping, then at least delaying the harsh effects that time has on the body. This is one of the most famous stops in Bama, the Bai Mo Cave, which people talk about as if it might actually be magic. We are in Bai Mo Cave, and this is one of the main reasons that people come to this area. It said that the rocks and the water here have lots of minerals, which is really beneficial for your health. So people come spread out and enjoy the day sitting on the rocks to soak in that sweet, sweet oxygen. Now, when I hear the word bar, this isn't exactly what I have in mind. I don't think it's quite as refreshing as a nice beer, but it's probably a lot better for you. After leaving the cave, people did seem more energetic and the mood in the car park was pretty jovial. I also noticed that a few people were carting around large bottles on trolleys. And then, after heading back to the village, I found out why. The local river water, as I mentioned earlier, is filled with minerals and so they pack it up and sell it. So I'm going to try it and see if it tastes any different, see if I can taste the healthy. Tastes like water to me. Hopefully it's better for me. <laughs> it's not just water either. The village of Bama is kind of a marketplace for all things health related. From traditional medicinal ingredients to crystal balls. Health tourism is a big business here. And this is the place you come to stock up on souvenirs before heading home. Not that people do head home, many people stay here for months or even years in the hope of stopping old age. I'm only here for a few days, but I'm hoping to pick up a tip or two from one of the many plucky centurions. Many tourists that come here will pay a visit to the house of a centurion to offer them their blessings and hopefully gain some wisdom in return. With so many members of the elderly community living locally, they aren't too hard to find. Although many of the older members of the local Zhuang minority don't speak Mandarin, don't be expecting too much conversation. We're going to meet one of the centurions now. She's 103 years old. Now, it's very lucky to give them Hongbao. And if you do, then hopefully the her luck will rub off on you and we can live a long and healthy life. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> so what 
is the secret to a, a long and healthy life? A good environment. Uh -huh. try, to, try to be happy every day. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. My, my, my grandma's favorite color was purple. She reminds me of her. <laughs> oh, she's cute. She's cute. She's cute. China's aging population, newfound wealth, and the fact that young people are too busy working to travel means that health tourism aimed at the over 50s is a rapidly growing market. But it isn't just pensioners that come here to unlock the secrets of a long and healthy life. Scientists have discovered just what it is that makes the locals live for so long. It turns out it isn't the newly discovered wealth that the tourism brings, but rather the area's historical isolation. The landscape that surrounds Bama is simply stunning. For centuries, these sharply shaped karst mountains have shielded the area from the rest of China. And until a road was constructed relatively recently, the nearest town was a three-day hike. Due to the lack of space to grow crops, farming was tough, so people of all ages helped out to feed the family. And natural selection took place, with only the fittest passing on their genes. In this part of the world, people have traditionally consumed a mostly vegetarian diet, far before health-conscious veganism was a thing in the West. The food here isn't particularly spicy, but it's super fresh and flavoursome. Somehow vegetables never taste quite as good in the city as they do in the countryside. Most of our meals have been pretty simple, with rice, veg, and of course, the local rice wine. <laughs> oh God, that's horrible. The newly found tourism has brought great wealth to the area, and now farming isn't the only way to feed your family here. But the local people are still incredibly protective of the land and encourage you to pick up your trash and look after the precious environment. The local authorities have banned the construction of high-rise buildings and have encouraged eco-resorts like this to be built far away from the villages so that they don't become overcrowded. I myself really enjoyed staying in this area and I found the concept of health tourism really interesting. There is no doubt that this is a beautiful place with amazing landscapes, but it is the cultural aspect that really grabbed me. As a foreigner, it can be a little bit hard to look beyond the beauty of any scenic area, so I'm really happy that we had David from Odinova Tours to help us learn more about the local customs and culture. Thanks for watching another video. Don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know your secrets to a long and healthy life. I'll see you next time.